Howdy everybody, today we're going to look at some stand-up fighting. We're going to do a little bit more of a sport focused session. I'm going to look at a couple ways to break some of the important grips that you'll see in the gi, and then we're going to look at one uh, simple gi focused takedown. For the grip break, when Josh has a standard collar grip, this is an important grip for whoever has it because uh, it's kind of the main controlling grip on my partner's torso, okay? And I don't, often I will not want to accept this grip because it gives Josh a lot of control over me. In particular, if I'm at all interested in a shooting takedown, I probably should take this off because if I try to shoot through this, I just get stiff armed out and I stay about, well, Josh's arm length away from him. Okay, so I want to take it off. So instead of grabbing at his elbow, I slide my grip down to the cuff of his sleeve. I pull down and I rotate the grip on his cuff so it tightens the cuff around his wrist. And then my hand on the collar comes off and I just make a cupping grip on top of his thumb. What I'm gonna do is kind of round my shoulders, come down a little bit. I'm gonna push down and posture back up, okay? And you may do this several times to pop it off. Okay, and sometimes you'll see it like, it'll slide down your collar first, and that's okay. Okay, just take the collar, take the collar grip off. And then, once I have it often, it's really nice to, I'm gonna, again, rotate my hand and push so that Josh has a difficult time coming back up and re-gripping. Okay, so slide from the elbow to the cuff, twist, okay, go on top of the, almost on his, the top of his thumb, I kinda go hunch over almost, and then, push down and, and posture back up at the same time, okay? So at the same time when I'm pushing his hands down, my body's moving upwards. So I'm moving myself away from his grip, okay? That's one way to break the collar grip. The sleeve grip, uh, one really simple way to break the sleeve grip, okay, is when Josh has a sleeve grip, I make an, well, a Y with my hands. And what I wanna do is I rotate my hand and place Josh's wrist in the bend of the Y. Okay, and then I'm gonna kind of rotate and I push him across my body. And unless your sleeve is giant, that'll pull his grip off. So rotate and peel his grip away. Okay, this is the Y grip break. Okay, so Y, come in, push his hand off. Okay, and so, you know, if we're, if we're grip fighting and Josh has my sleeve and I don't like it, I have peeled off. And now I've got a great time to go because look, I have a sleeve, or I have a control of his hand and I have control of his collar. So this would be a good time for me to, to start my technique. Now for our takedown, we're gonna look at something called a collar drag, okay? Which is somewhat analogous, I guess, to a wrestling arm drag, but I'm using the collar, okay? So what I'm gonna do for this is we're gonna look at a gripping sequence. I'm, I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna start right leg forward. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure Josh can't make any grips on my lapels, and look, I'm gonna make an offhand grip low on this lapel, so pull it tight so that my, my dominant hand can make a, a high collar grip. Okay? And as soon as, I, as soon as I've made that collar grip, I back to defending so Josh can't uh, grab a grip of his own. I'll just fence his hand out as long as I need to. Okay? When I'm ready, what I'm going to do is my second hand is going to double up onto the collar. Okay? So I have two hands, both of my hands on Josh's collar. Okay? The next thing is my front leg is going to step in and outside. I'm going to kick my leg in front of Josh and sit to my butt. Okay, so step out, okay, and sit to my butt, and I'm also gonna pull hard with my hands. So step, sit, pull. Okay, I'm gonna pull Josh onto his hands, okay? I'm gonna release my right hand, my bottom hand, okay? I'm gonna grab around Josh's leg, and essentially, I'm gonna do a jiu-jitsu stand-up now, almost. Or I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch my hips over and get up and take Josh down, okay? Using almost a single, uh, a really low single. Some of the key details on this, are I don't let go of Josh's collar uh, until he's on his back, okay? And I don't put my, in this case, left hand on the ground at all, okay? I think I wanna show this, this angle for this, okay? So I'm here, right, I got my collar grip, I fence Josh's hand off, I double up, I step wide, slide in, sit to my butt, pull Josh with both hands, and look at my left hand, okay? I hang my weight off of it to keep Josh's hands planted. Okay, then I, I scoop up his leg, I switch my hips, and I start to drive in, and I take him down to the side control. If I put my hand and my elbow on the ground when we're here, so if I put my elbow down, then Josh now can start getting back up and 
coming back in to face me, and now I might lose the scramble. But so instead, I hang all my weight off of it, which should be really difficult for Josh, uh, for my partner, to get back up. Okay, so like I'm, I'm leaning on my partner the whole time. That's double up, so I pull. Okay, I lean on it. I loop around his leg. I switch my legs. Okay, I start getting up. I'm gonna pull down here. I'm lifting. Right, I can even reach from the far leg to knee tap and come in, and I can almost. Use like a weave to end up with cycle. 